in prison for years. And he tells his story for the first time on 60 Minutes. Plus the Daredevils who are taking on one of the most dangerous mountains in the world. Aha. Uh -huh. What do we have here? Okay, so I had mentioned how I was cleaning up earlier. And when I was putting things in different spots, I came across this guy. And realized I hadn't made a video with this thing since the very beginning of my channel. Uh, it was probably one of the first five videos I made. Um, just a regular cheap transformer with three turns of I honestly I think it's like aught two aught four the gauge of the wiring um, I used to have these on the ends but as you can see for obvious reasons I took them off because they're pretty much just melted to nothing So I figured, why not bring it outside, out onto the patio, fight with my phone to try to get it to focus, and make a video. So that's what we're going to do. We got some stuff of various materials, some wires, some more of this stuff. This is just to quiet the vibration. That's just to uh, touch stuff. But uh, I don't have a tripod. I don't have a great way to hold this thing. So please, I apologize in advance. I'm going to be holding this camera most of the time. So bear with me. A quick couple notes. Um, I cut with a hacksaw the secondary windings and pulled them all out. I did not cut the transformer itself. Um, and then just basically pulled the winding through as tight as I could and zip tied it all together. Um, 120, 110 volts going in. Uh, nothing fancy. Um, my amp clamp on my field piece only goes to 600 amps, and that is too many, uh, which basically goes over limit. Uh, estimating this to be somewhere between 8 and 900 amps when I get my hands on an amp clamp that uh, goes that high, we'll cover that. But for now, what I'll do is we can at least do voltage. Bring this on over here. Turn the power switch on. We are live and we are pumping out a whopping 3 volts. 3.3 volts. That's all that comes out of this. Go ahead and turn that back off. I'll take all this off and put some stuff in between. Some people like to use tin snips or wire cutters to cut stuff like this. I like to use electricity. I said, I like to use electricity. Thank you. Let's try it like that. That's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. What next? Alright, for this next one, I figured 
Because that last one worked out so well that I'd make a big aerial kind of a thing and see if I can get it to glow nice and bright here. You know, I think I'll do this with the flash off. Let's hit it. It's starting to smoke. We're getting some glow. For curiosity's sake, I did want to see what kind of amps I was drawing during something like this, so I hooked up the amp clamp to take a peek. I'm drawing seven amps, six amps while I'm doing this from the house, which is nothing. Look at that. I quite like that. And it's putting off some, some quite generous heat, too. Most definitely. I call that a success. What do you think, Kitty? Was that a good show? Yes, good show. We're actually, our amps are going up and down here. I'm bouncing around from seven to five sometimes. Excellent. Let's touch it. Alright, pause time. Terribly sorry for all these pauses and shaky videos, I really am. Um, I want to see what else I can do here. Here's a bit for you female viewers. I wonder what the people driving by in my house are wondering when they see that on my patio, huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, there's no female viewers on this channel. Who am I kidding? You can't have the high voltage transformer out without doing a bit of this, right? going in my apartment. Is it actually burning down there? <laughs> it is. Oh, it's all kind of discolored it. We definitely got to have more of that. Awesome. 
Burn, baby, burn. plastic on the cables. A little break time. You know what? I think we'll split this up into a separate video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Just a quick view of what I just did to this poor thing. And now I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to fix it. I got so excited with how well that was working out that I have done fried it. Oh, it turned out great though. I cooked the hell out of that thing, but... Oh, it was such a pain in the ass to wind this thing once. I don't want to do it again, but... Repairs are going to have to be done before I can use it again now. Silly me.